H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay, I think we can start. Uh, I'm Purushottam. Uh, I work for h 2 Infosys and uh, uh, it's a E-Verify uh, company. So we provide training for different technologies and uh, we have a placement too. So we do placements too. So today uh, we will be looking into, you know, frequently asked Selenium web driver questions, interview questions. <coughs> Um, so before starting going into web driver questions, uh, since it's just a couple of, I mean just Sangeeta and Silesh, uh, I just wanted this session to be uh, interactive because it's just a small group so it can be interactive and if you guys have any questions just ask them in there so uh, that should be fine. Uh, uh, so. Uh, Start with Sangeeta. Sangeeta, do you have? Uh, so uh, I hope you guys have already attended the uh, web driver session. So you guys should have some kind of web driver knowledge already. Mm, Sangeeta, can you can you just uh, explain about the? I mean, give me a very sh short background of uh, testing knowledge. Uh, yeah, um, I have attended uh, manual testing and Selenium. Uh, courses okay. uh, from H2K and um, I w uh, worked on the projects provided by them on okay. manual testing and currently attending Selenium project. Okay, perfect. That should be fine. Uh, Shailesh? Uh, Shailesh, are you there? That's okay. Uh, Shalish, we could not hear you. That's 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 fine. Hi, uh, Hema. Hema, are you there? Okay, that's fine. I could not hear them as well. Okay, we can start with our session. So uh, to start with, uh, we will just I'll just give you high level overview of what the Selenium web driver is. So right now, uh, Selenium WebDriver uh, is an uh, open source tool. Uh, I, I guess like you guys should already know about what Selenium and should I know that I understand that you guys already have a little background about uh, good knowledge over what Selenium WebDriver is. Uh, to start with, I just wanted to give you a high level overview. So Selenium WebDriver is an open source tool and it, it is used to uh, test a web application, uh, so it doesn't support the biggest disadvantage uh, is it doesn't support the Windows application. It just just web application. Um, the good thing is it's open source, so we, we we can get a lot of information from the search engine, any search engine. So that that's a very good thing, and it supports different environments and different languages. Uh, the one advantage is compared to uh, QTP, which is a commercial tool, which is a, a license tool where we need to pay pay for the tool. But that's a that's a it's it's a cost effective, and because everything is free, and we don't have to pay anything for Selenium WebDriver, and we can do whatever we wanted to do with Selenium WebDriver if we have a reasonable programming knowledge. So anything is achievable or whatever. The commercial tools can be can be achieved. Everything can be achieved through Selenium Web Driver too. So, given the background, um, uh, we'll just go with the questions. So, stop me uh, whenever you have questions. So, if you have any any question, that should be fine. So. Uh, it's a general question, it's not specific to Selenium driver, but most of the interviews, in interviews, people ask what, if you, what are the benefits of automate, automation testing in general. It doesn't have to be Selenium. In general, people ask 
what is the what is the reason for going for automation testing? Why don't we just go with uh, go with manual testing? Uh, what what do we have to do? Uh, you no know, spend effort with automation and maintaining automation scripts and then running regression scripts for all the time. You know, so do uh, you guys say one example of the reason for going for automation testing? You you guys can unmute yourself and uh, you can. I just need a one point for each and every questions. Uh, can I go ahead? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, the most uh, the benefit uh, of automation testing is uh, for regression testing. Um, okay. So can can you so can can you say one uh, another benefit of automation testing? Uh, uh, basically, it saves time and cost. Yeah, that, that, that's perfect. That's a very good answer. Yeah. So the main reason for going for automation testing is to save time because it's it, it's automation. Because for manual for manual, we, we human has to do everything, and we have to go and click and those kind of stuff. There are a lot of chances of error, and after certain sprints or whatever methodology you are working in, like we have different methodology like waterfall. Uh, uh, agile and those kind of stuff. So for each and every release, the scripts will be stable and the, we will get a lot of return on investment because uh, we, we have repeated steps which always runs and we don't have to worry about the manual effort just kicking off should be it. So the main, uh, the main reason for going for automation testing is it's very fast and it is we can reuse the same test cases whatever we have used and the test coverage is really good and we there are there are no possibility of people missing the scenario and cost reduction ROI, ROI is return on investment the return on investment is nothing but the when starting automation in the new project so say for example if there is any project which has only manual testing and if the project manager decides to go for automation testing the starting effort is a lot because we need, they, we need to come up with, we, we have to do POC on which uh, tool we need to go for and those kind of stuff. But once we spend some basic effort, startup effort for creating scripts, execution time is going to be very less. And whatever spend, time spent on basic automation suit creation, we should get the return on investment once we are done with four or five releases because we are saving a lot of time with execution. For example, if it is a project with under a thousand test cases, which takes one second, so which is thousand seconds. So if you are automating it, it might complete in ten seconds or something like that, yeah, fifty seconds or something like that. So, so that the main reason for uh, going for automation testing is cost effective and it is reliable and it is so fast. So we will move on to the next question. Uh, do you have any questions with uh, this question? Like, do you guys want to pitch in with uh, uh, some other benefits of automation testing? Okay, I'll I will move on to the next question. Okay, in automation, not everything can be automated. There are few scenarios which cannot be automated. There are few restrictions. It doesn't have to be just Selenium. In any tool, doesn't matter what tool it is, there are few scenarios that cannot be automated at all. So, can you guys can you guys say one example of scenario by which we cannot automate, which which will not be automatable? Uh, yeah, captcha measures. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, the reason for captcha is it doesn't have uh, any element. We cannot inspect anything in the DOM because, as you guys already know, our Selenium works is, uh, everything works based on the, the DOM, the element IDs are locators. So the CAPTCHA, there is no way we can find it. So similarly, the flash, but we have few other uh, s scenarios, like um, there is a bitmap comparison, we cannot do that at all. And uh, some people say uh, we can CAPTCHA, few types of CAPTCHA is automatable, but if something is 
something can be, if any of the captcha that can be automated, then that's not a captcha at all. So in chat, we cannot automate captcha. And uh, we cannot uh, automate the barcode. We cannot automate printer functionality because there is no way automation scripts can verify that whatever. There are few, there are few projects uh, in few projects which requires printing testing. So that cannot be tested. So, so these are the few examples you can you can you can say in the interview and also uh, uh, sending email um, I, I, I guess um, we have uh, uh, we, we, we have you know options or uh, work around for testing sending email to uh, okay. for, for example uh, I don't know whether I'm going into so deep but I can give you one example uh, there are a lot of open source tools. Again, as I said, in Selenium, we can. It's just it's just an open source tool, right? We can just combine it with third-party tool like AutoIt. AutoIt tool, the users, uh, the third party, like it, it can automate the user actions. Those kind of stuff. There are few other third-party tools where we can combine with Selenium, and we can do whatever we wanted to do. So in Selenium, uh, sorry, with respect to email we have something called uh, third party tool called fake email server what it does is we can in the back end we can send an email through rest api or whatever way like through database or whatever and we can directly log into the web application it on the fly it creates the email id and it just checks the email address or email sent to the email address. So, yeah, there is, uh, it is possible to check uh, email, but we need to have, you know, come up with some kind of workaround like this, like fake SMTP server, which has web interface, where we can use Selenium to log into the web interface. And that web interface, in turn, points to the email server, and we need to configure. There are external configuration that needs to be done. So it is possible, actually, yeah. Okay. But that's a very good point, actually. 